y'all, I'm Anna and welcome back to Anna's Home Cooking. Tonight I am so excited to share with you my recipe for chicken alfredo. This is something that you can play up a million and one ways, but this is my tried and true recipe. It is so simple. There are like five ingredients in the whole thing and it is just so quick and easy to make. I do only make this about every other month, if that, because it's quite rich. It is very much a treat in our house, but tonight is the perfect night for it and I can't wait to show you how to do it. So let's get started. Let's go over our ingredients. Before you do anything else, make sure you get a large pot, fill it with water, and add a generous pinch of salt to it. I have this on high and it's going to come to a boil as we start on the chicken. Over here, I have about three quarters of a pound of angel hair pasta. You can use any pasta your heart desires. I have used penne, I've used bow ties, I've used regular spaghetti, fettuccine. Just use whatever you have on hand and whatever you like. Um, the spices that we'll use for our chicken are garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, salt, and pepper. You can add any more seasonings that you would like to yours. I have a stick of butter over here that we may not use the whole thing, but I have it here just in case. This is, I don't know how many pounds, but it's about seven chicken tenders. Use as much or as little as you like. Oftentimes I use chicken breast, but I've got tenders on hand and those work really well. This is two cups of heavy cream. I have my bottle here in case I need a splash more. Um, later I'm, I'll show you it might get a little thick so I always have some on hand in case that happens. And I have lo lots of um, Parmesan cheese that I've started to grate over here and I have an extra block. Now I have never used a bag of pre-shredded Parmesan cheese to make Alfredo. So I don't know how good that is. I'm sure it's not bad but anytime I make this I always use a block. I get mine from Kroger in the deli and it is delicious. So I've got my pan over here. We're going to start on the chicken first. So I'm going to put this on medium heat and let it heat up while I season my chicken. Alright, so I always cook my chicken in butter. So I took a big chunk of that. That's a little less than half a stick. And I'm going to let that melt while this is heating up. And this is the way that I season my chicken. I don't put it in a little measuring spoon or anything. I just eyeball everything. Do everything according to your taste. So I'm going to start with the garlic powder. I just do a little sprinkling on top. And I'll do my onion powder. Sometimes, it's actually been a while, but sometimes I use Emerald's Essence. If you've never used that, you should try it. It is so good. It's got everything already in there. You don't have to pick out 10 different spices. So sometimes I use that, but this is just what I've, what I've been doing for a while now. So there's my salt and my pepper. And I always season the other side of my chicken while it's in the pan. So my butter is still melting over here. Ooh, it's getting nice and melty. I'll give it another maybe 30 seconds and then I'll add my chicken. Okay, the chicken is ready to go in. I'm not going to overcrowd the pan. I guess I could have waited a little bit longer, but this will be fine. I'll probably do about four for now. I'm just finishing up seasoning the other side of my chicken. I just have some salt and pepper to add. Now when we're finished with, this, with the chicken and we set it aside, we're going to make our sauce in the same exact pan. So all of the little nibbly bits at the bottom that are left are going to be so yummy and they're going to flavor our sauce. So I'm going to let this cook and then I'm going to do my other batch. Alright, so here's my second batch of chicken. Again, I'm going to cook this for about two to three minutes on each side. Alright, I've just taken out my last chicken tender. You can see how beautiful golden brown they are on both sides. And listen, this right here, that melted butter with all of the little bits from the chicken, that is what makes the sauce so delicious. So I've got two cups of heavy cream. I'm going to pour that in there. And no, this is not going to be a perfectly white sauce, but I don't care at all. I just care about delicious sauce. So I'm going to get my whisk in just a moment and whisk that together. Alright, right now I have this on... I turned it down to medium low, but I'm going to turn it back up to medium because the cold cream just went in there. So I'm going to whisk this together, let this thicken for a couple of minutes, and then we will add in our Parmesan cheese. 
Okay, this has been simmering here for a couple minutes. It's not really thick yet, but it's at the perfect stage to add my cheese. So I'm going to add in all my Parmesan cheese. Below my video, down below, you'll see a link to my blog, and it will have all the measurements there written out for you. So I'm going to whisk together my cheese with my sauce, and after it melts for a couple minutes, I'm going to taste it and see how much salt I need to add. This is perfect timing because my water is finally up to a boil, so I'm going to add in my pasta. And my particular pasta takes about four minutes to cook, so I'm going to set my timer for four minutes, and I will see you in just a minute. So I just drained my pasta. I'm going to add it back to the big pot that it boiled in. Since this is a big batch, um, sometimes I only do about half this amount, so it all fits in the pan where the sauce is. But since this is a lot, I just put it back in here. So I added my chicken to my sauce. I chopped it up into big chunks. You can chop it however you want. I also added some more butter to, to the sauce, and this is what I have left. So I didn't use an entire stick, but feel free to use as much or as little butter as you want. Um, also, I tasted it for seasoning, and it did not need any more salt because the Parmesan cheese is quite salty, and we salted the chicken really well, so this tastes perfect to me. Now, I, like I said a second ago, I am making a big batch tonight because my family is over. So I'm going to pour my sauce into my big pot over here. I'm not going to do it all of it because I'm a little afraid it might be too much. So let me mix this up and we'll see if I need to add more to it. All right, I ended up adding all of the sauce to this. And you can see how creamy it is. Oh, I cannot wait to have a big plate of this for dinner. So this is pretty much finished, and I'm going to plate some up and do up my little taste test. It's taste test time. I'm so excited. Mmm. I promise you that this is better than any restaurant. The chicken is cooked perfectly. It is so flavorful from all the spices we added. Um, there's just really nothing else to say other than it is delicious. If you like this recipe and this video, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye!